Okay, so what do we have here? Well, it looks like we have a triangle, but I'm making a bold statement here. I'm saying that this is a fake triangle. I'm saying that this is impossible. So what am I actually saying? Well, I have what appears to be a triangle, and this side here is one, this is eight, and this is uh, six, but I'm saying this is not possible, i.e. this would be an imposter. This is not a real triangle. It's a fake triangle, but why? Do you know the answer to this question? Well, if you do, go ahead and put that into the comment section. If you're taking any sort of geometry course, you're definitely going to be introduced to this concept. But even if, you, um, not, uh, if you're not in geometry, if you're not even studying mathematics, you're going to be able to um, learn this. It's quite easy and I think interesting as well. So we're going to get into all this in just one second. But first, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I love teaching math. It is my uh, true passion. And I can tell you right now, over all those years, I've learned that all students, if they have the desire, can be successful in mathematics. It's critical that you want to learn math, okay? But a lot of you out there struggle in math, and you might say to yourself, I'm terrible. I'm, I just fail all my math courses. Listen, it doesn't have to be that way. What you need is some encouragement and most importantly, great math instruction. Clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you need help in your current math course, or maybe some sort of test that you're uh, studying from. I'm talking about special exams, things like the GED, uh, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, things that have mathematics on those exams, or if you homeschool mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description. It's really important that you take your own awesome math notes. Do not uh, underestimate the importance of note taking. It is critical. Okay, if you don't take, I'll be as bold as saying this: if you don't take great uh, notes, you'll never do well in mathematics. If you take awesome notes, you're almost guaranteed to do excellent in mathematics. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and give you the reason. I'm gonna give you uh, uh, just the reason, right? I'm not gonna explain the reason, but I'm gonna give you the reason why this is not uh, possible in terms of a triangle, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the reason right now. And the reason is something called the triangle inequality. Triangle inequality, and basically the triangle inequality um, it helps us understand the relationship between the sides of a triangle. Okay, now here's what we're saying. It's impossible to have a triangle with sides 8, 6, and 1. Now let's just suppose, right? I'm just going to kind of explain this here. Oh, by the way, let me just stop. If some of you actually knew this, right? You're like, oh, this is because of the triangle inequality, and you actually type that in to the comment section, that would be quite impressive. Matter of fact, so impressive, I gotta give you a little happy face in A plus, A 100%, and some stars so you can celebrate your awesomeness in mathematics. Uh, that's very, very good. So what are we talking about here? Well, let's suppose, I'm gonna try to do this the best I can. Let's say we had some like nice straight sticks, okay? Let's say here's one stick here, uh, here is another stick, and let's say here's another stick, okay? And these would represent possible sides to a triangle, okay? Now, uh, let's say this side, let's say the length of this thing was, I don't know, 14, and maybe this thing right here would be, let's call this a 2, and this would be 1. Now, I just want you to logically think about this for a second. Could you construct a triangle from these three lengths? Well, let's. Wow, I'm sorry for all of you that did great, but I'm going to have to rate, erase your happy face because I need a little bit of room to teach here. Okay, so let's go ahead and think about this. So if we had one length, one stick, right? Just think of something nice and straight, perfectly like a line. Um, it's 14, and then we had two, and then we had one. And I said, hey, take those sticks and construct a triangle. Well, let's see here. What would we do? Well, we would have this 14, maybe like this. And then I have my two. So I'm, I have to close this triangle. If I put my two like this, well, then I only have one remaining right there. Well, you could say, well, here's your triangle there, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Look, here's a triangle right there. Well, no, this is not a triangle. This is like a little arrow, right? This is like this. A triangle 
is a closed figure, okay? It's a polygon, a three-sided polygon to be technical about it. But, you know, we have to have these vertexes right here. So we really couldn't do it, right? We would need some longer lengths. So if I had two right there, for example, I would need something that would stretch out a little bit further, like, oh, I don't know, maybe like, a, let's say, I'm just making something up, 13 possibly. It looks like it might uh, do it. So you can kind of see that uh, just because you have three little sides here doesn't mean that you can always construct a triangle. But this right here, if you don't uh, know how we can actually prove or disprove this, well, I'm going to go ahead and explain that right now. But it has to do with something called the triangle inequality. And again, if you're not a math student, uh, this is not uh, overly complex. But I wanted to at least kind of um, show you in a common sense way why this is such a cool inequality. Okay, so let's talk about this right now. How do we know whether we're dealing with an actual triangle or an imposter? Well, here's the deal. A triangle inequality basically says the following. If you, of course, we have three sides of a triangle, okay? Any two sides that we add up, so let's take six and eight, all right? Any two sides, the sum of any two sides has to always be greater than that last remaining side. So what that effectively means in this case is if we have these two sides, six and eight, all right, so let's add up those two sides. Is that greater than that last remaining side? Well, let's just start testing this. Well, six plus eight, of course, that's gonna be greater than one, all right? So this works out, that's good. So no problem there. That's what, in a real triangle, that's what you have. But here's the deal, you have to test it for all combinations, all, right, all three uh, possible, uh, all three sides, okay? So it's not just one side, you gotta continue to test. So let's test these sides now right here, eight and one, okay? So if we add uh, these two sides, is this greater than this last remaining side? Well, of course, eight plus one is nine. Nine is in fact greater than six, so that checks out. Everything's looking pretty good, but here is where we have some problems. How about these two sides right here? Six and one, is that greater than this last remaining side? Well, six plus one is what? Seven, okay? Seven is not greater than eight. So this fails, so this right here, because this fails, this is not a real deal triangle, okay? But have to um, work on all sides. Let's still actually look at an actual triangle down here. Um, let's take the good old fashioned uh, three, four, five classic, uh, a triangle, right triangle, okay, Pythagorean triple for all of you out there. Now, this is a terrible looking triangle, but let's go to just test this right now. But this is an actual triangle. So if you actually want to do this, go ahead and just follow along or pause the video and test this yourself. But let's just start testing. So let's, uh, let's go right here. So four plus, uh, five plus four, is that greater than three? Indeed, nine plus uh, nine plus uh, nine is greater than three. Five plus four is nine. See, even myself, I even stumble. I do so many math videos. I love teaching math, though. So, hey, listen, if I stumble on words sometimes, please forgive me. But let's go ahead and continue on. So let's test uh, these sides, five and three. So five plus three, is that greater than four? Okay, so five and three. Eight is, in fact, greater than four. So we're doing good. So we just have to test these two sides right here. So that would be three plus uh, four. Is that greater than five? Yes, it is. Seven is greater than five. So here you can see all three sides work out. So this is an illustration, again, of the triangle inequality. And I told you uh, out there in the beginning of this video that this isn't difficult, right? Don't let uh, these fancy words or, you know, don't let things intimidate you and mathematics, the symbols or the topics and whatnot, especially somebody out there that might have math phobia or like, oh my goodness, we're talking about algebra or trigonometry or calculus even. Listen, I'm telling you right now, you can learn this stuff. Now, does it take effort? Does it take time to build skills up? Yes, of course it does, all right? I'm not telling you that you could just kind of like go from here on the math, you know, steps and jump all the way up here. A lot of you kind of expect or like, no, nah, I have to, start here and my teacher or my college says I have to pass this class or really it's my goal to learn calculus and you haven't done math in 30 years. Well, listen, that's an excellent goal, but you're going to have to climb these steps, right? There is no 
magic kind of escalator or elevator going up to the top, you're going to have to do the work, right? Even myself, I've been doing math for a long, long, long time. I have a degree in mathematics, have a master's degree, all that kind of good stuff. Guess what? I still make math mistakes. I still have to practice my math skills. So math is a game of skills. It's like anything else. Um, you know, you're going to have to respect the amount of things you can, uh, that you need to learn. But again, you know, a lot of this stuff is not overly complex. There is some difficult things in mathematics, no doubt. But I'm telling you right now, even the difficult stuff you can learn by just patience and great math instruction. Okay, so hopefully you found this uh, video interesting. By the way, if you uh, have more um, questions uh, or need to learn uh, geometry, let me give you a couple suggestions. I have a ton of additional videos about geometry on my YouTube channel. And uh, I teach geometry in two of my courses in my uh, Math Out program. I have a full, complete geometry course, high school level geometry course with mathematical proofs and all uh, geometric proofs, all that kind of stuff. If you're taking a uh, geometry class, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I also teach uh, basic geometry in my pre-algebra course as well, the things like surface area, volume, all that kind of basic stuff. So if you are interested in more geometry, those are some uh, suggestions for you. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.